So, hey guys, um, Theme Park Central here, and then we'll be reacting to the top five best coasters at Six Flags America by Coasters and Gaming. So, let's see what he has as his top five best coasters at Six Flags America. Okay, let's see. Cool trailer, by the way, dude. Oh, Storm Run is cool. What's up, guys? JD here from Coasters. Hey, it's the worst coaster in my And today we have one of my most anticipated videos of 2018. Because this past Super, year, I bet Superman's going to be Six one. Flags America and rode my 50th roller coaster along with all the others at the park. And this park was a really pleasant surprise because there was only one really bad coaster and the Mine rest were really great rides. Anyway, Bro. before we get to the five absolute best coasters, Joker Jinx is probably going to be two, honorable, I think. Or should I say dishonorable mentions? The worst coaster at this park was easily the BM stand up. Whoa! Paco, the park was really not bad for me, dude. It's really good, but since Whoa. it's a stand up, the experience is so uncomfortable. Your head will bang on almost every inversion or turn, Dang, which is not fun for I any can't ride. Like a this ride was a typical BM floor, so it would but, okay. easily make the top five. In seventh, we have the Raging Cajun, the Park's Wild Mouse. And let me tell you, this is the best Wild Mouse I've ever ridden. Yeah, it Wild Mouse is a good. Smooth, and the train starts spinning you like crazy during the second half of the ride. Dang. Sort of like a pod you race, if you know me what I mean. Right round, baby. Oh god, Star Wars. Boy, Star Wars is the best aside, thing this is great for what it's ever. Worth, and also has really good theming for a while oh, now. Bro. Now, hear me out, please, for a minute. I know you're all thinking that Mind Eraser is the worst coaster on the planet, but personally, so I don't understand the hate. The person I even went with agreed to this statement as well. If you keep your head back on the rest and don't lead forward during the ride, you'll get a good experience. Now, obviously, since oh, it didn't make the top five, the coaster still has its faults. For example, at times you'll get slight headbanging on the aversions, but nothing terrible. It's a I decent my, my, my vendor, No, no. Mine Eraser was my 100th now, coaster. That way, was the let's thing. Get into the top five best Six Flags this America sucks. Mine Eraser, SOC suck. Oh, SOCs? Um, stands for SLC stands for sucks like crap. The park's 100 plus Pretty year true. old wild one takes a five wild spot one. on my list. Ooh. This coaster is absolutely phenomenal for its age. This oh, is no, your typical wild out and back woody, but it has some unique spots as well. For instance, it's at the very very fun. end of the ride, you go down a helix. For the, for mm. a wooden coaster and its age, this is a super rare element, and it's also the best part of the ride in my opinion. Mm. Along with that, you get great wow, airtime. One. Now, getting off topic for a minute, when I got off this ride, I heard a really great GP quote. Oh God. As we were leaving, GP. a teenager said, "Dude, that was crazy! Did you see all the rides from the top?" And here's the good part: the kid replied with, "Wait, you had your eyes open? I thought that was hilarious, and thought I'd share it with you." Anyways, this Dang. ride is a great traditional Woody and definitely earns a spot on the list. Yeah, the helix at the end is pretty freaking intense, though. A very underrated Whoa, whoa, four man Joker's Jinx, I thought that would be two. The top four. Other than the super awesome and intense mm, launch, okay. this ride is okay, one of those okay, coasters okay. that doesn't have the stats, but it's just downright fun. This coaster is just a big bundle of track, and when you're on the ride, you have but no idea what is coming next. Also, another cool feature is that this ride's most intense towards the end, in my opinion. When you are low That's to the true. ground doing course screws, you pull some intense G's, Damn. trust me. And also, the ride operators were super funny on this ride. Exactly. They always launch you out of the station at the most unexpected times. Instead of doing the typical dispatch, they gave a countdown from 5 and launch you at the number 3. It makes the ride even better. That's so true. They do that on Friday Fear at King's Dominion too. Those ride now we're starting to get into the good ones. At number 3, we have the GCI Roar. Now, if you're a good sub of mine, you know I absolutely love the Roar. Lightning Racer at Hershey Park. And this Roar. ride takes some of its concepts and adds on to it. This Roar. ride is so much more intense and provides much funner bank Roar. turns and airtime than the Lightning Racer. This is easily the oh, second light. best ride I've ever run, only behind El Toro. Also, this thing. ride has one of the best entrance signs ever. I mean, just Roar. look at this thing. It looks so cool outside the station. Besides that, this coaster's unique layout and utensity gives it the top three spot. Roar. Batwing. Deciding the top two for this park is no easy task. 
These two coasters are both phenomenal that and are wing. both in the top 10 best coasters bat I've ever ridden. With all this at it's number two, I have wing. the Batwing. This ride is just so much fun. It's a Vacoma flying coaster, which means your bat position flat on your stomach. I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. This ride has an impressive layout as well. You have very sharp turns and very tall inversions to really give you the illusion that you're actually flying. This layout, like the Joker's and Jinx, is a really that's intense experience. That's the song I sing every time I go on a flying coaster. You are very close to the ground I and have three corkscrews back to back to back. It even caused me to gray out once. Also, this coaster has a pretzel loop, which is my favorite okay. inversion ever on a coaster, so that gives it more points for me. My only complaint but about bro. this ride is that. It's alone in its own little section of the park. So yeah, Batwing's amazing because it's Batman. Eight thousand miles to reach it, but other than that, this coaster is absolutely amazing. Obviously, then taking the number one spot on my list is Superman Ride of Steel. Yeah, Superman. Now I do amazing. have some bias towards this coaster since it was a milestone, but hey, my list, my rules. This ride was just amazing. You get unbelievable airtime on this ride. Exactly. I even this got close to ride up is also, amazing. The on this ride are great as well. Dude, there are two really long one the best one at the beginning of rides. the ride and one towards the end. They seem to just the keep on going ones. and going. And that's a really cool I like this straight section. That's the best part of the ride. About this ride, however, how it has two straight sections where nothing happens. That's Although, the best part. Unpopular opinion. I really like that. It really shows how fast exactly. you're going without being distracted by turns or hills. The restraints on this hyper it are great as well, good. unlike coasters like One Thigh Crush. Best <clears throat> I mean, Sky hypers. Rush, you have lots of room for airtime as the restraints are it's very probably the loose. best coaster I can all in all, this coaster though. will be one of my all time favorites for years to come. Exactly, Superman that will is amazing. My top five best Superman coasters is, at will always be better than America. Batman. I hope you all enjoyed this list. Please so, leave a like if um, so, as this video took a good while. Speaking of this list, also, um, it was actually pretty good. Um, I thought Joker Jinx sure probably going to be right. I thought um, Batman would be three, Joker Jinx would be two, and I thought Joker Jinx would be one. But other than that, um, it was a good um, list. So, remember guys, may the force to be with you.